In this chapter, we're going to begin discussing a fundamentally important concept that we'll use for the rest of the semester, and that is about functions and their graphs. But before I can get into what a function is, I need to talk about a relationship or a relation. Let's use this bar graph down here to discuss that. Here I have a chart that shows your chances of survival to various ages once you reach 60. So if you are the age of 70, your chance of survival rate would be 86%. If you're 90, your chance of survival rate would be 24% and so on. Now there is a direct correspondence between your age and your survival rate according to the data that is shown here. And when we have that direct correspondent, we can represent that correspondence mathematically in ordered pairs like we're used to seeing. So the ordered pair that would be represented by the data that's in that chart would look something like this. This is the set of data contained in that chart. Sets being given by, I know it's a set of data because of the bracket bars that you see here on the very outside. And contained within that set are the one, two, three, four ordered pairs represented by the graph or the bar chart. Now in the ordered pair we have our age value as well as the survival rate. Okay, and each one of these ordered pairs is unique, right? The age of 70 is unique to an 86% survival rate. The age of 80 has its unique survival rate of 60%. So each of these relations are um, a correspondence between these two concepts. Now, formally, the definition of a relationship is given here. It's a set of ordered pairs where the first component of the ordered pair is the domain and the second is called the range. This is just rewriting the ordered pairs that we had given above where the leftmost circle over here is depicting the domain and the rightmost circle is the range. And you can see that my value, my age of 70, is corresponds with the per survival rate of 86%. Now, I always think of domains and ranges, independence and dependence kind of, um, when I think of independence and dependence, I usually have to go backwards or it helps me think that way. Independent, uh, excuse me, dependent values determine our, come from our range. And if I think about dependence, I think, well, these values here in my range depend upon the domain. And that makes sense because my survival rate depends on the age at which I am. So the range would be dependent and the domain, which is our age, is independent. Okay, so again, the range are, in, are dependent values and they depend upon the domain that we started with. My survival rate depends on the age at which I am. So this is the definition of a relation and we're going to build it even further to talk about a function.